Please pray homage to the Buddha by reciting the Mottas three times. Namo Dasa Bhagavado Arahado Samasambho Dasa Namo Dasa Bhagavado Arahado Samasambho Dasa Namo Dasa Bhagavado Arahado There are many, many questions. It is impossible to finish in this retreat. Hmm? Number one question today. Hmm? In terms of degree of concentration, are the immediate jhanas more powerful than immediate folk jhana? What do you mean powerful? Hmm? What do you mean powerful? I research many meditators. Their jhana concentration is better than Rupa jhanas when they are practicing Arupa jhanas. When practicing Arupa jhanas, Higher jhanas are better than lower jhanas. What does mean better? More and more peaceful concentration is very deep. This is only difference. Powerful means what is the power? I do not understand well. So, While practicing Aruba Jhanas, many meditators, they think the base of neither perception nor non-perception jhana, neva senya na senya yana jhana is best among all eight types of jhanas. What is best? They think more peaceful, eh? Concentration is very deep. This is their explanation only. Based on different types of jhana, if they practice vipassana system medically, depending on their barwi, they can vegan, soda, bana, etc. But some meditators they practice only excess concentration. It is also possible to add a mega or to realize nibbana. So meditators, based on fajana, they practice vipassana. So meditators, based on sagajana, they practice vipassana. So meditators, based on that jana, they practice vipassana. So meditators, they some meditators based on pot jhana, pot rupa jhana, they practice vipassana. All vegus, depending on their barmi, they can be gansoda bana, sagadagami, nagami, or arha. So, therefore, the concentration degree is better. Higher jhana's concentration degree is better than lower jhana's. This is mentioned for me. Except, number two question, except in Visodhi Mega, had ever the body ways for my training be mentioned in Tibetika? I do not 
see in any place except in which of the Bhagavatam, maybe, but I do not know. Number three, is it possible to add the Aruba Jana without practicing in removing Kasina? If not, why not? Can someone add the Aruba Jana through Anabanasati? There are two types of meditators. Some meditators are beginner, but some meditators, they had practiced ten casina eight adamas in forty ways. For those who practice forty ways, they can directly also go Arupa Chana. But for beginners, it is not easy. Why it is not easy? Agasani Chayirana Jana. For example, the object of Agasani Chayirana Jana, <coughs> the base of boundless space Jana. The base of boundless space Jana's object is boundless space. But that space, by removing Kasina, meditator can see this space. No natural space. But there must be one type of casino to remove. This is necessary. Without removing casino, they cannot see the base of boundless space. If there is no base of boundless space, they cannot practice Agasa Ninja Yarana Jana, the base of boundless space jana. This is the reason for beginners. But for experts, when they practice for the weight, hmm? which is mentioned in Visodhi Maga in second volume, they can jump, they can skip jhanas. They can practice eight elements for what order and back order. For example, they can practice from five jana to number eight, Niva Senya, Nasenya, Yarana Jana, the base of Naida Basamsi, no non Basamsi Jana. Again, they can also directly practice the base of Naida Basamsi, no non Basamsi Jana. From that Jana to Agen Senya, Yarana Jana. From Agen Senya, Yarana Jana to Winyan Ninja, Yarana Jana. Vinya ninja yarana jana du, agasa ninja yarana jana. In ruba vachara, pop jana, la jana, second jana, panchana. This bhagava order also was developed for specialists who practice for the ways. For experts only, but for beginners it is not easy. If it is easy, it is not necessary to practice Ruba jana, five jana, second jana, third jana, and fourth jana. To practice, to add it, agasani jayarana jana. Can someone add the Aruba jana through Anabana Sadi? Anabana Sadi's object is Anabana Kaudabha Sai. Is it Kasina? Is it Kasina? It is not Kasina. Agasa Ninja Yerna Jana is the object is boundless space. That boundless space is by removing Kasina only you can add in this boundless space. Anabana is not Kasina, so it is not it is not possible to remove this Anambana Kaudabhasa. Is it possible? If it is possible, please practice. <laughs> okay. Then, number four, by we personal knowledge, a <coughs> meditator can design his past life, materiality, and Roba, including color, one 
which is real Ruba eh, is Ruba Ramana. On the other hand, imagine the who bright days as white casino. Of this a white saga as Nimeda. Of the sea, the white color, either externally or internally. But this Nimeda is called Vinyadi concept. Both examples, both examples mentioned are first images. Why is that the first one is called Rupa Ramana, but the later is Pinyadi? Very stupid question. <laughs> what is the reason? <coughs> If you break this, for example, Patui Casino, okay? You first, for beginners, you must focus on the ground. For example, you must do one saga, then please do this saga, within this saga to become smooth. And then please remove leaves, stones, etc. When it becomes clear, other than you should take this within circle of the two casino as object. With open eye, then close eye. With open eye, then close eye. Then that Patui casino circle appear in your mind, in front of you. Is it real Patui? Is it real Patui? If it is real, but we please build many goodies here. <laughs> huh? Okay? You can build many goodies here because you can create but we here. This is re if it is real, you can build many goodies with muddy goodies. Hmm? Please try. Because weather is very hot. <laughs> huh? Very cool goodies, please build. Is it possible? So this is only my mind. Concentrated mind can create this saga here. Then you expand this casino saga up to infinite universe. Okay. Is it here real but we? If it is real but we, your battery is up to infinite universe. Huh? You can try to build many goodies in this area. Very quickly it is possible. Huh? So it is not real, only just my mind only. If it is real, this is called Rupa Ramana. It is not real one. So because of this, this is called concept. Awija mana pinyati. Awija mana means according to Brahmata there is nothing. But there is, according to the concept, there is still this casino. Okay? Do you understand? Any question? Okay, then go. Another part. You made the, the court design the one rasa ganda of the kaya dasika kalaba. In his body without using his eye, nose and tongue. This means that the mind do itself could see, hear, taste, smell, feel the tangible object directly without the five doors. Eh? If you are mind do cognitive process, so the monodharika with the king rise with the object of the five sense do without the Pincha Dwara Viti. Question. If that is so, why is it that the Lakana of Rupa Ramana is said to be Chaku Padihanana? Kala's characteristic is to impinge on the eye translucency. Lakana of Rupa Ramana. Hmm? Chaku Badi Hanana Lakana. Why it is say like Chaku Badi Hanana Lakana? Kala's characteristic is, is to impinge on the eye translucency. Why 
We must not ordinary monotvariga with it. This is the power of we must not monotvariga with it. That monotvariga is based on one type of concentration, maybe first jhana or second jhana or third jhana or fourth jhana, etc. So these concentrated minds are Pakadu Bhaknesya, the such supporting cause for Vipassana inside knowledge. That Vipassana Manodhariga Viti, Manodhariga Javana Viti, have the power. In this sense, all Nama Rupa, including Kala, song, smell, taste, tangible objects. Sabhi Sankara Anicca, Sabhi Sankara Dukha, Sabhi Dhamma Nada, etc. All formations are Anicca, including Kala, Sang, Smell, Taste, and Tangible Objects. In this way, Buddha taught, we person are inside, contemplate them, all of them. What is the reason? Every object, six types of object, can appear in your point of mind. For example, color object, image on your mind as well as mind, simultaneously. Sound object, image on your ear as well as in your point of mind, simultaneously. Smell object impinge on your nose to as well as in your mind. Taste object impinge on your dando as well as in your mind. Tangible object impinge on your body to as well as in your mind simultaneously. But other dhamma objects, they impinge only in mind. My meaning is, color object not only impinge on an eye but also impinge on the mind simultaneously. This is mentioned in Antra Salini commentary. So, here every object impinge on the mind so this is no much difference. But the difference is color only in which I do. Some in which only I do. This is specific. Because of this reason, with special characteristics, they explain the color object color only. But actually, color object not only in which on the I do only, I translucent only. It also in which on the mind. But every object impinges on the mind because of this reason. It is common to all objects because of this reason. Committee does not say to those to explain color, the characteristic of color. But specific, specific meaning is only impingement on the mind because of this reason. Commentary explains Kala's characteristic is to impinge on the eye translucency only. When the object appears in Bhuenga mind, we person are inside can contemplate every object because we person are inside contemplate the objects. Every object appears in his Bhuenga mind. Because of this reason, he can contemplate every object. If it is impossible, then Chakudwara Viti will be Vipassana Jhana, Vipassana Jhana, no possible. Only Manodhvarika Jhana, but this Manodhvarika Jhana, Jhana is not ordinary Manodhvarika Jhana. This is special Manodhvarika Jhana. What is special? A meditator must practice one type of concentration, Jhana concentration. Based on this Jhana concentration, he must practice four elements of meditation systematically. Other than that, only he can understand ultimate material. He can see clubhouse. He can analyze ultimate to see ultimate materiality. This club. He can analyze this clubhouse to see ultimate materiality. 
เดฮิมัสเดซันอันนี้เมนเทลิตี้เดฮิมัสเดซันดีดิเวเนออริจินิเชนอัพเดตเดออนลี่เกย์ฮิมัสเดซันคาเรดาริสเรฟันเชนแ
So wholesome karma and unwholesome karma are completely different. But if you want to what to call, he must create more on the Ruba Ramana. <laughs> you can test by yourself. <laughs> it is better. <laughs> Number seven. There are Biwa Lova Mula Chaja. Lova Mula Chaja associated with Teji or with Mana. These three types of Chaitas called Vigandhi, Avija, Jana, and Ubadhana for future existence as well as for the arising of Pasada Ruba in the future life. Question Is there any difference in that of the Rasadi Ruba, Kadada Ruba? For these three different Lova Mula Chaitas, Lava Mula Chaita is a whole This a whole son Dhamma, especially a whole son is a whole Kama. The power of a whole Kama is it depends on their degree. Some, some persons' lover is very, very powerful, very strong. But some persons' lover is a little bit weak. For some persons' lover is more weak. So we cannot say exactly these three types are saying it, it depends on the degree of lover. When lover is very, very strong, this Agusala Kama can produce maybe different ways. Different way means sometimes Lova Mula Chaita is if associated with deity. Such a type of Lova Mula Chaita is also very strong and powerful. They always deny the workings of karma. They do not believe workings of karma. They always believe creator and creation. Because of this reason, they can do according to their own desire if they like, according to their religious instructions. So they do not understand what is wholesome, what is unwholesome. Such type of love is more dangerous, more powerful. In the same way, occasionally mana also very strong. Occasionally, only pure love also may be strong. But when they, are, when they become very strong, certain powerful lover can produce certain powerful bad results in woeful states. So this is mentioned only. Which one is worse? It is not easy to say, but usually many commentators explain if lover is associated with deity, it is more powerful. But some, for some meditators, for some persons, if a lover is associated with mana, it is also very dangerous. Okay. Number eight, there are many different objects in which our five senses do in every moment. Why our manasingara only pay attention at certain objects and not the others? For example, in a busy market, different people will pay attention to different songs regardless of the intensity of the song. Is it because of different in karma? There are four causes. Niya Mita, number one. I will really try to accumulate only host one to my. I will really meditate, I will really concentrate. Then concentration there. Some meditators they can concentrate on their meditation object for about one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Is it true? What is the reason? I will try to accumulate both on the only. This is called Niamita. I will contemplate all informations as Nisha Dukkha and successfully for a long time. 
This is their fixed mind. I only do this only. This is called Niyamita. So because of this reason, Hoson Thomas also writes. Sometimes Abhujita. Abhujita Sumila to Manasikara. So Abhujita Manasikara is like radio cylinder. Hmm? They can move in this way, this way, this way. This is because of this Manasikara Abhujita also. The Hoson Thomas may rise or Hoson Thomas may rise. Another is Samudhajara. Samudhajara means they have a lot of attachment to every object. Not only one day, every day, every night, they have a lot of attachment to their sons, to their properties, etc. Repeated attachment, because of this reason also, such type of attachment always arise. This is called Samudhachara. Another one is Manasikara only. Because of Manas, Yoniso Manasikara, wise addition, wholesome to must arise. Because of Ioniso Manasikara, wise addition, and wholesome to must arise. So there are four causes. If you understand the meaning of these four causes, you should fix your mind. I will accumulate only holes on tomorrow. I will never buy, permit my mind to in my mental process to rise a holes on tomorrow. If you fix your mind in this way, and if you practice diligently, when concentration improves, and we must not inside also improve, then you can prohibit many a holes on tomorrow. Stage by stage. So this is Niyamita is very important. Samudhachara is very dangerous. Mm. No, because of different income, this focuses. But maybe Samudhachara is in past life. Also, you had a lot of lover. In this very life, also a lot of lover. Repeat that lover also maybe produce this unwholesome tomorrow. Then there are ideas mentioned that Asa Mitriya are not present in Soda Panna. But the Buddha had never mentioned about this. So, in fact, do Asa and Mitriya also be removed by Soda Bhati Mega? There is one soda, but I cannot remember because there are also no books to see. But there is one soda mentioned, Buddha explained, Soda Bhadi Mega, that's right, Sagaya Deti, Vijigaycha Sila Bhada Brahmasa Esa Michiriya. And one soda. That explanation is Esa Michiriya, is gross is Esa Michiriya, not very subtle and gentle is Esa Michiriya. In the same way, in Yerana Soda, Sahawosa Dasana Sambadaya Dhyasu Dhamaji Dabondi, Sagaya Deji Vichigaji Denja Silabadam Wabi Yadaji Genji. You may recite this Soda. Diodama, Dhyasu Dhamaji Hida, Diodama Jihida. Soda Badi Mega relinquish three types of Dhammas. What are Sagaya Deji Vichigaja? Eh? Sila Bada Brahmada, Paramasa, Sagaya Diji Pasana Romju, Vijigaja, Doubt, or Skepticism. Then Sila Bada Brahmasa, Romju of Rice and Rejuers. These three only mentioned, but there is another new sentence. Sila Bada Wabi Yadadi Genchi. What is the meaning? They are very so many Agusala Dhammas. These Agusala Dhammas can produce to be reborn in, four, in one of four full states. Such type of all unwholesome Dhammas also Sada Bhadi Maga can destroy. Among those unwholesome Dhammas, cross Isa Mitriya also include. So very subtle and gentle Isa Mitriya is still which cannot produce to be reborn in one of all full states. 
But very gross Asian material in Ahosan Thomas, which can produce do be reborn in one of awful states, then Sotabadi Maga can destroy all these gross Ahosan Thomas. This is mentioned in Radhana Sogda by Boga. Is it okay? This is soda or no soda? <laughs> so there are also some sodas. Hmm? The many frustration of nirvana is signless. What is the meaning? Animeda is in this case sankara nimeda. Nature nimeda, sukha nimeda, adha nimeda, etc. Also no present in Nibbana. Sainless is for me Sankara. Sankara is there is no Nama, no Rupa. As well as there is no cause, no effect. No Sankara formations are there. Only complete cessation of Nama and Rupa only. This is signless only, the meaning of signless only. So if you realize peaceful state, if you have any doubt, you can taste Nama Rupa in that peaceful state. You cannot see any Nama Rupa, you cannot see any four elements. Yatha cha abo bhatha vi dejo vayo na ghadadi in one of Sayoda Nikaya. This is mentioned. There is no Dejo Vayo Patavi Abo. Yatha Ja Abo Patavi Dejo Vayo Nagadadi Patavi Abo Dejo Vayo. There is no Patavi Abo Dejo Vayo. If there is no Patavi Abo Dejo Vayo, there is also no derivative materialities. If there are no Ruba, there, is, there are also no Nama. Why? Usually, many namas arise depending on their own base and object. If there is no object, there is no base, nama also cannot arise. So, complete cessation of nama rupa is signless. No sign of nama and rupa. No sign of cause and effect. Okay, any question about this explanation? Perception sees cessation of perception. Okay. Yeah. Among yeah. yeah. aggregate perception <coughs> also include. Among number perception also include. So all numbers cease. So how is it possible to, to check the, that there is no number rupa? Because checking means there is some, something. Yeah, this is, for example, Nibbana. Okay? Do you see this Nibbana? Okay. By what do you see? But is it not complete cessation of perception? If something sees, then there is still perception there. Maybe, my meaning, please listen. This is, for example, Nibbana. Do you see this Nibbana? Yes. By what do you see? By... Yes, by my is your my. Nibbana is here, object. So in object there is no nama, no rupa. But you are, especially you are mega chaita, pla chaita, subramani chaita, knows this nibbana. In nibbana there is no nama, rupa. This mega chaita and pla chaita rise to be near on your heart face. So this nama, rupa is in your mind. Nibbana is external, not internal. This is object. Okay? Mm. Any question?
Ya, one question. Hmm? There are two different attitudes arise among the teaching and learning of this Samatha Vipassana method. Perhaps, if meditator should not know the way of this practice method until he reaches the particular stage. For example, he should not know how to descend past life. Theoretically, until he reaches the bright Padecha Samubhata fifth matter. The reason is to avoid the student using the learning knowledge to pass the question asked by the teacher in order to finish the course. According to our traditional way, is Sutta is Pahu Sutta. It's necessary. Maybe usually Sarasila Sutta Chaga Pinya, etc. So these five are also necessary in some suttas. Sada Sati Hiri Odaba Pahu Sutta Vriya Pinya. Sata, satama. This is among 50 charanas. These are seven, sata, seven satamas. So, Bhuvusuddha is necessary. What is Bhuvusuddha? Ida, Jabe, Be, Be, Bhuvusuddha, Hodi, etc. In this way, in many sodas, Buddha is plain. Yedema Adi Gliana, Midi Gliana, Briosana Gliana, Satan Sabidiana, Givala, Bribuna, Brisoda, Vimacharia, Vivadani, Tata Rubasa, Dama, Dada Hundi, Wasa, Wachasa, Parichi, Damanas, and Nubaki, the Dedia, Sopri Waiter. In this way, in many sodas, Buddha explain the meaning of Hosoda. If we summarize this meaning of Bhūsūdha, there are two types of Bhūsūdha. Agama Sūdha and Adigama Sūdha. Agama Sūdha is learning knowledge. If you do not know how to write this Anabana, for example, can you write this Anabana up to fourth channel? Is it possible? If you do not know how to design, Nama. What is Nama? If you do not understand anything about Nama, then how do you, you can practice that the movement of promises in past jhana? Is it possible? So Buddha also teach there are two types of Pahu Sutta. Agama Sutta. First, you must learn the Dhammas. How? Vasca Samparichita. You must memorize orally. This is number one. Manasa Nupakita. You must contemplate by your mind this Dhammas. 
you must practice. When practicing, up to which stage you must practice? Taking your sobri vita. Your vipassana samadhi must penetrate this kamas. Which kamas? Taking your sobri vita di atha docha karna docha. Taking your sobri vita. Atha means yoga sija dhamma. Karana means samuriya sija dhamma. These yoga sija dhammas in samuriya sija dhammas you must pass learn by heart. Then you must try to contemplate them, to discern them. And then you must penetrate when you are all vipassana inside, vipassana samadhi. This is Buddha's explanation. But there are some meditators, they learn by heart. They do not practice diligently to understand by their own vipassana insight. But in front of teacher, they import money. Oh, I had already added up to four channels. <laughs> Very strong faculty in Ria. Oh, okay. <laughs> Such type of persons are also there. That we can do nothing. But we must teach. This is our responsibility. Whether he practice or not, this is his, his responsibility. If he did not afraid of Bharajiga, this is his responsibility only, not our responsibility. So if he want to become Bharajiga Bhikkhu, okay, this is according to his own desire. Bharajiga Bhikkhu or Bharajiga Bhikkhu need no problem. This is their own desire only. We can do nothing. Our responsibility is we must teach only. So because of this reason, we follow according to Buddha's instruction. Because of this reason, honest is very important. When practice is samatha and vipassana, and it is not easy for me today to concentrate because of restless mind, because of such and such problem. This is okay. We cannot criticize that law. Oh, please try, please try, in this way we say all. Oh. Honest is very important. For the benefit of the security as well as the sadhana maintenance, which attitude would share or encourage or prohibit? We follow Buddha's instruction. Hmm? Then what is the uh, sorry, I want to explain again Agama Sutta and Digama Sutta. Learning knowledge is called Agama Sutta. Then, depending on Agama Sutta, you practice diligently. Then, Manasa Nupakita, this is you try to penetrate this Tamas. While you are trying, Tetiya Sobriveda, you are Vipassana Samadhi to penetrate this Nama Rupa in their causes. This is if you penetrate this Nama Rupa and their causes, this is called Adhikama Sutta. So Agama Sutta and Adhikama Sutta, both are explained in detail in many suttas. So these two suttas are necessary. Okay, number two question. What is the significance of Vatana practice? Why someone needs to practice Patana? Why is it not included in this Samatha Vipassana course? <laughs> Without practicing Patana, Mata also working at day, working bigger, sort of bana, etc. So because of this reason, we teach. But for some meditators, they want to specialize Patana. It is also possible to purify their Inside knowledge, which inside knowledge? Discerning cause and condition knowledge, Picha Priga Jnana. Picha Priga Jnana become more powerful, and then if they continue to buy this Vipassana again, their Vipassana also can become powerful. In Dawa Deisa Deva World, Buddha also teaches this Patana to practice only. 
No, for only listening. For practical knowledge. Because of this, they say, after teaching the Pachana, many millions and millions of devas and brahmas began, Sodabana, Sakadagami, Nagami, etc. When there is a difference between Sogda and Vinaya Pitaka, with regard to this sibling, we should refer to Vinaya. If there is a difference between Sogda and Vidama Pitaka, with regard to meditation practice, should we refer more to Vidama? Sometimes there is, if you can understand the meaning of Vinaya and Sutta, there is no much difference. But please listen. Karaniya Sutta. Hmm? Karaniya Mata Kusarina Yanta Santa Bada Visamicha. Sako Ujucha Suhujucha Suwajo Cha Sa Budu Nadi Mani. Sandu Sako Cha Subro Cha Abba Gejo Cha Sanu Ka Hodi. Sandu Niyo Cha Nipako Cha Abba Gapo Kule Swa Nanu Gejo. All together there are 16. Hmm? What is this? This is called Sokanta Sila. But if you do not obey this Sokanta Sila, you cannot, you, there will be no apathy. But although there is no apathy, if you practice, it is very easy to attain Nibbana. For example, Kule Swadhanu Gaidon, you must have no much attachment to your devotees. Oh, they are very good Sata. They support me a lot. <laughs> you, if you have a lot of attachment to them, then if there is any problem, then you must go to their house. And then you must have is it okay? Good? <laughs> How you can make it? This is so tender, Sila. But if you do like that, so in some cases there is no apathy. Although it is no apathy, so tender, Sila is also necessary. If you want to add in Nibbana, then if you associate with any devotees, is it possible to add in Nibbana? Possible? Because if you always associate with your devotees, laughing, talking, is it okay? Helping to each other, giving medicine, associating with loving kindness, speech, hmm? is it okay? If it is okay, you can open no problem. <laughs> so, so then that sila is very important. If you want to attend Nibbana, but if they fix Vinaya rule and Buddha give Abadi, instruct Abadi, this is very difficult to obey. So because of this reason, occasionally Buddha explains Sotanta, but Sotanta Sila, if you obey, it is very good. If you do not obey, there is no Abadi. Second, you must be able to bring this Samatha with personal diligently. But if you cannot try, if there is a body, then it is very difficult for you. But no a body, although there is no a body, but you must try to practice. You must be able to practice Samatha Vipassana diligently. Would you, when practice Samatha Vipassana, your Kaya Kama, Vajji Kama, Mano Kama must be straight, not crooked. Is it good? Very good. Suhuju. What is Suhuju? Ujuja, Suhuju. Suhuju. Not only Gai Gama, Uji Gama must be straight. You are Mano Gama. Mental action also must be straight. But if your mental action is not straight, then there will be a body. Very difficult. <laughs> okay? So because of this, the Sotanta Sila is very subtle. So they are concord to each other, usually there is no against. In the same way, Sotanda is Vidama. Sotanda is 
explaining the way of practice only. When you are practicing, you must benefit such and such to mark in this way, in this way, in this way. This is mentioned in Vidyama only. For example, in Sotanta, for Benarivya Rahula, Abhra Bhigami Sotapana, Buddha instructs, Chaku Nicha, Rupa Nicha, Chaku Vinyana Nicha, Chaku Sambhasa Nicha. Yambi dan Chaku Sambhasa Bicha, Vari dan Sukha, Yambi dan Chaku Sambhasa Bicha, Ubi Jedi, Vari na Gada, Sinya Gada, Sankara Gada, Vinyana Gada, Tambi Nicha. Only Chaku Nicha. It is now mentioned 63 rubas. No calculate in the day. Chaku Nicha, Ruba Nicha, Kala Nicha, Ubi Chaku Vinyana Nicha. Not only Jagu Vinyana, but associated mental formations are also necessary. But it is not mentioned. But in every month, this is mentioned in the day. The Jagu Sambhasa nature, what is Jagu Sambhasa? The whole Indo mental process, there is Pasa. But in this case, the Jagu Sambhasa means. Only Pasa associated with Chaku Vinyana. This is Chaku Sambhasa. Depending on Chaku Sambhasa, Obijedi, they arise. What? Varina, Senya, Sankara, Vinyana. This Varina, Senya, Sankara, Vinyana also you must contemplate as Nicha Toka Nata. Which type of Varina, Senya, Sankara, Vinyana? Depending on Chaku Sampasa, they rise. So, which type of Vrina Sinya Sankara Vinyana? In Chaku Vinyana, my moment, there is also Vrina Sinya Sankara Vinyana. In Sandri Sana, my moment, also there are Vrina Sinya Sankara Vinyana. Sandirana, my moment, also there are Vrina Sinya Sankara. In this way, in every my moment, in every my moment, there are Vrina Sinya Sankara. Throughout Indo mental process as well as through a mind mental process which take color as object. But this is explained in the day only in Vidma. But for practical knowledge, this is necessary. But if you do not understand this mental process, it is also not easy. The another important explanation. Depending on Jaku Sampasa, Chaku Vinyana, Sambari Chana, Sandirna, Udabana, Jawana, Dharamana, there is, it is okay. But before Chaku Vinyana, there is Pichadra Vajana, Paido and Vadi, which has that's my moment. How we, we should contemplate or not contemplate? We must also contemplate this Pichadra Vajana, my moment, for mental aggregates. Then, Buddha does not directly say, but indirectly says, this is mentioned in Vidma. What is indirect? Paido and body consciousness. This is one type of manasikara attention to the color object. This manasikara, Pichadara Vajana, can arise for those who have Chaku Pasara. If one person becomes black, then there will be no chakku vinyana, it is true. If there is no chakku vinyana, then this addition to the color object also possible. Oh. Indirectly, this Vichatra Vajana also has depending on chakku sampasa. This way of teaching is mentioned in Didi and Vidama, not in Sautas. How that in Sautas explain chakku nature, rupa nature, chakku vinyana nature, Chaku Sambhasa Nicha, Yambi Dan Chaku Sambhasa Bicha, Obijedi, Vrinagadan, Sinyagadan, Sangaragadan, Vrinagadan, Dambi Nicha. In this way only. But Venerable Rahula understood the meaning because he had already begun Sodhapana. He had already been entreated for noble troops up to the attainment of Sodhapana states. Because of this reason, he understood this Dhamma. If he understood, is it necessary to explain in detail again? 
necessary? Not necessary. So, Vidma is explained in DD because it is necessary for divas. But for human beings also, in the same way, the necessary for the explain. So, you may understand the meaning. Eh? So, so that uh, Vidma also they have the same meaning. Okay, any question? If there is no question, then today let us stop here. Sadhu, Sadhu.